Uh, as many people will recall, Jack Abramoff is a disgraced lobbyist who served 43 months in prison for bribing federal officials and stealing millions of dollars from his clients. And he wasn't alone in his actions. 21 other Abramoff associates were convicted in connection with the Abramoff scandals. Uh, you were a key member of Jack Abramoff's lobbying team from about 1996 to 2001. In fact, Abramoff wrote about you in his book where he described your 1996 hire as the, quote, perfect addition to the quickly emerging Team Abramoff team, unquote. Uh, at the time you were a member of Abramoff's lobbying operation, the Northern Marianas Islands, which had become a U.S. territory in 1975, were not subject to the same minimum wage, and that was a passed in 78, and immigration laws as the rest of the United States. And there were widespread reports at the time that workers faced terrible conditions, including uh, reports of uh, many of these employees were women uh, brought from who were told uh, from the Philippines and from China who were told they were going to America and they ended up in uh, uh, these jobs in the Northern Marianas Islands and there were forced abortions, uh, prostitution and routine beatings You've been nominated to a position where you'll be closely involved with enforcing minimum wage laws and other worker protections, yet, as we discussed in my office, one of the key issues you lobbied on was to block bipartisan legislation for basic worker protections in the Northern Mariana Islands, where garment manufacturers could produce clothing labeled made in the USA without having to comply with U.S. minimum wage laws. In fact, the Mariana Islands were your firm's largest lobbying client. Obviously, that is a concerning history for someone who will now be charged with enforcing worker protection laws. Were you aware of those horrible conditions even while you lobbied against minimum wage protection for workers? Uh, no, first of all, Senator, thank you. Uh, uh, you did say you intended to ask the question. I appreciate that in our meeting yesterday, and I'm prepared to address the issue. Uh, I was not aware of uh, any such thing. Uh, I did not know. I just learned that 21 of uh, Mr. Abramoff's colleagues were also convicted of wrongdoing. Well, let me just and ask. I, you I was not, I was not one of them. Okay, and I but, just want to be clear about that. I was I never. That. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you on that. Uh, in. The, the fact that you didn't know this about what, while you were lobbying is in 1992, Representative George Miller held a hearing on the issue. The New York Times and other major publications ran a number of stories on the issues dating back to at least 1993. In 1997, President Clinton wrote a letter to the governor of the Nor uh, Northern Mariana Islands who had hired uh, Team Abramoff to oppose uh, the raising the minimum wage in the letter, Clinton declared working conditions on the island to be inconsistent with our country's values. In 1998, Senator Murkowski, Frank Murkowski, uh, one of our members' fathers, uh, uh, visited the islands and found, quote, living conditions that simply should not exist in the United States of America, and he introduced legislation to stop the terrible abuses uh, that were taking place. Did you and the so-called Team Abramoff lobbyists lobby against the Murkowski legislation? You know, we, we might have. I don't actually remember if we lobbied against that legislation, but I would assume we did. Would it bother you to know that you were lobbying against protections for thousands of workers who were being abused? Well... Would that bother you? Uh, of course it would, but what you mentioned were uh, allegations uh, made I uh, we were allegations that were documented many times over and over again while you were lobbying yes against uh, increasing uh, the minimum wage increasing the minimum wage yes and uh, so so what I'm saying is th these were documented they aren't just accusations right. and uh, I just think that it is these stories are really sorted. Mm -hmm. 
And I think that for someone who's going to be in your position, I think this is a pretty, uh, I'm sorry my, I'm over my time, but I think this is a pretty shocking history to have been involved in. And um, I can, uh, will I'll put into the record uh, some of the uh, reporting that was done over this period. It was hard to miss, and it would be especially hard to miss if you were lobbying uh, on uh, against uh, Senator Murkowski's legislation, uh, which uh, was speaking directly to the horrible abuses that were happening in the Northern Marianas Islands at the time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Franken.